That's what we got. Kai vs. Swagman. I haven't actually seen these two play before. I really love this matchup though from Falco. Well, from both perspectives, really. It's obviously really tough for Captain Falcon, but when you do get those openings, it's like the juiciest punches you can possibly imagine. So, let's see if Swagman's been able to pull any of those together. The moment's just getting a little too outpaced in his movement. His, his decision making is not too bad, but he's not really finding any openings. Oh! You know, if there was a time to Falcon Punch, that might have been it. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, he's a bit too happy with those side Bs. I'm mostly speaking from Swagman's perspective here because I feel he's, uh, he's a bit of the underdog in this situation. The, um, you might notice he's uh, attacking in the opposite direction somewhat and. You may be attributing those to tech flops, but I assure you, only some of them would be tech flops. Uh, this is a new strategy that Swagman is adopting. I'm not sure if it's actually a trade secret, and I shouldn't be revealing it, but uh, he's attacking the opposite direction. I believe it's as some sort of a bait, uh, but it may go much deeper than that. It's The way he described it was more akin to a religious movement, so I don't want to... <laughs> That Falcon Punch was a little more hopeful than the previous one. Still, the side B's just getting punished. I think versus Falco, it's really not the way, as um, the retreating water cancel back air is too easy a response to it. Falco's always looking for that stuff. I think Falco's up tilt as well will often clank with the side B, so it's, it's a little tricky. Right, where's Swagman gonna go? Doing his pondering face. The dog! It wasn't about where he's gonna go, it was what character is choosing. Dock on FD, let's see it. Let's see some chain grabs. I believe. I've never seen this so I play this character before, but. Okay, okay. I kinda like what I'm seeing. I mean, Kai's no stranger to Dr. Mario. He's had to play against Tish in some uh, pretty nail-biting sets recently. It is, in fact, Mason on the mic. Hello, Polion. Hello, everyone who's tuned in. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I got here just in the nick of time. I was not aware that there even was a tournament on today, but I'm here. It's pretty fly. It's really... 
It's one of those events that you're going to think, if you miss this, you really missed out, you know? There's no replacing today's Sunday Cheese League. Mango Mantra is determined to beat me next local. I'm out with you. Oh, okay, cool. Bring it on, Mango Muncher. Have you been to a local yet? Like one that I haven't been to? Coffee showing the Swagman support, and honestly, it's pretty justified at the moment. I got a bit distracted reading the chat there, but Swagman is keeping it insanely competitive with Kai at the moment with the surprise pink Dr. Mario pick. Just as I say that, he starts to get bodied a little bit, but I, I ain't counting this. Oh! The up the eight. Yeah, yeah, unfortunate. Because the Kai is a seasoned player, you know, you might get him with a few gimmicks early on, but the question is, do you have enough to take all four of the stocks? I mean, stocks can go quickly, but when the other player knows what, what to avoid, stocks can take a very long time to actually deplete. Once about eight years ago, once a month ago. Yeah, definitely do. I'm trying to come frequently now as well. Um, it's one of those things where the more people that come, the more people will come. It sort of feeds like a, a feedback loop, you know. Positive feedback loop. Alright, Kai kills himself with that stock, but at 137, it's probably justified. Now they're just going to sit it out on the support platform so Kai gets a bit antsy. Starts firing his lasers. If I was Swagman, I'd be looking for some kind of reverse middle edge here. Yeah, like something like this, and then... Yeah, see, I don't know, pushing him back towards stage. These things, Falco can be, like, deceptively heavy and hard to finish off. He's... He's notorious for being like, oh, you know, it's super easy to kill Falco, but there is a bit of like an inbuilt Marthritis factor to playing against Falco, where if you don't finish him off early, he can kind of hold on to those stocks. Like, his defense game is just so strong. I mean, how are you getting in against these lasers up till it counts back in? That, that's the games. And I think I probably have to play someone now, so I'll head off. Have, I will get off mic, but. Keep watching, everyone. There's still plenty more good melee to come. Yeah, very nice try, Swagman. Nice try, dude. That was...